Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Mining King and we're here in my basement. And I figured I would uh, take you guys around. Well, not really take you around, but what do I do here, right? Um, so this is kind of some more farm maintenance for the GPU side, right? So um, I have some stuff in today to work on some more uh, octo miners. And uh, so I'll show you what we got. So I have one motherboard. Two, three motherboards. Okay. Now this now this particularly came from GP Risers or Vistang. Um, he a customer had sent back an R8, and it had two of the motherboards in it. And now I don't know if it's the CPU or not. Right. Um, I did try both motherboards. I tried switching the CPU out of the socket, and it's not looking that great. And when I did open up the Octo Miner from when he shipped it, uh, over, uh, from when Vistang shipped it to me, is it was just like laying inside the Octo Miner, like the guy had just boxed it up and it didn't even, he didn't bolt it back in. So when you are doing motherboard swaps, you need to transfer this piece right here to the other motherboard. And as you could see in the other motherboard here that he sent, he did not transfer it. So the motherboard was just flopping around. Not great, right? Probably came out of the slot. I, now I know that the slot isn't damaged, right? So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll change the camera view here in a second, but I'm actually using the case, right? And I have a good known working motherboard in there, right? So I do know that the case still works and functions. I tested it for mining, it still works, right? So I know the case and all the expansion slots are good. So now what I need to do is, is I need to troubleshoot these three motherboards and see, if there's because two of them came from the guy and this one is one i tested right and I, I i don't know the condition of it so i bought some stuff so i have some um we have our our little sodium memory right here right this is what goes in on the motherboards i have a few of those i also have these silverstone cpu coolers um which are great replacements if your little intel stock cooler dies on your octominer it is a little expensive. It's like 30 bucks. It sucks. But I would say this is this will fit the best for the Octominer, right? Because you're going to have a GPU right next to the CPU cooler. And then I have a few uh, Intel CPUs. So let's go ahead and let me get everything kind of going here. Let's do a CPU replacement only. No memory replacement. And let's see if, the C if this guy killed the CPU somehow. You know what I mean? Or... Do I do the CPU swap and the board's still dead, right? Because then it's just going to be maybe the pins are bent. I looked at it. It didn't seem like any pins were bent, but these pins are very small, so it is possible. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I have the cooler off here. Let's go ahead and clean up all this uh, thermal goop here off of here, and then we'll install the new CPU, and then we'll be using some mx4 uh arctic over here so now i did upgrade these cpus a little bit because i noticed the octo hunter sometimes have problems with the load average so <clears throat> i decided i found a good deal on these right here these are um i5 43 i believe no 40 these are i5 45 70ts so these also, the T versions of this also use a lower wattage. So something I forgot to do is, is we should put this M.2 in here and we're going to put it in right here. And I forgot to uh, to slot that guy in there. I've been liking using these M SATAs. Sorry, not M.2s, but M SATAs. They seem to be much more stable for me. Um, and I get less, less problems with uh, SSD failures. So um, these we just, re I just recently started getting some of these. Alright, 
so Octomine is a little loud, but obviously you can see that it booted up into the newest hive here. So we're gonna let it do its thing. And then we're gonna see if the ethernet works right on this motherboard because it's actually a problem with these Octominers that the NIC dies or comes dead. Uh-oh. Looks like we may have a little issue here. That didn't work at all. So it looks like that the CPUs are possibly um, not compatible with the Octominer. So I figured it was from the same chipset and the, they boot up just fine in the BIOS, but there's obviously something that's getting hung up. It's not, I, uh, I, I tried some MSATAs and then I also tried a, uh, a regular Hive OS on a regular SATA drive, just a regular two and a half inch drive, because maybe, I don't know, maybe the M SATA port was messed up, I don't know. So, um, I tried a lot of things. I guess one more thing maybe I'll try, but um, but yeah, I, I, I think these CPUs may not be compatible with the Octoliners, and maybe I just have to use the the regular like 3900s or 3930s whatever they're using right to be able to replace these i was really ha hoping to have two more octominers up and rolling there i do have like three or four on hand at any given point um but this is kind of the thing with like troubleshooting i've never done a cpu upgrade on an octominer <clears throat> all right guys so i was recording a lot of this last night and obviously things work out and don't work out right especially when it comes down to troubleshooting components and things like that you know what i mean i tried you know different you know uh sodems you know what i mean um to see if it was a sodem problem i tried different cpus and i tried different all kinds of other parts i tried the msatas i tried the regular ssds and stuff like that my conclusion is though is that this other board i was working <laughs> This other board I was working on, right, essentially, is dead. Or there's something wrong with the pins, right? Because this one will not boot, even with the regular G3900 or 3930, whatever. Um, no matter what type of memory I use, or any uh, you know, uh, hard drive I use on here, it will not boot all the way into Hive. I've flashed it several times, made sure it was a good install. It's worked on other motherboards that I have here, so the only part that I've that I switched out is I could show you his, is this is this is on another of one of the boards I thought was broken, right, or CPU or motherboard problem. So you can see that I have this thing running right here. It's on. It's functional. It's it's on, and it's you know it, this is an error because I was doing some Aleo testing over here so this is not um, this is not mining right now there's no GPUs in it which is why it's giving errors here on the screen um, but I did confirm that this other broken board works perfectly fine it just needed a new CPU which this was the original board that came with the Octominer so the original board was good but it had a a bad CPU I guess something happened I don't know if the guy ripped it out of the socket or something but something happened to the motherboard when it did something to the CPU but 
the other motherboard that Vistang sent to re for a replacement to this guy, and he left it loose in the case. That one's damaged and is no longer able to be uh, in working condition anymore. So um, I'll just you know take the C I'll just take the cooler out of it and the CPU out of it and scrap the board essentially. Um, but yeah, so uh, we successfully got I got two of these running. Um, so I essentially got two more Octominers running. Um, so if I was doing these types of, and sorry for my phone dinging, yeah, messages going off like crazy. It's normal working day for me. Um, so normally, um, you know, if I did this at the shop, you know, this is something I'm, I'll be doing myself in the shop. And this is, takes hours sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes you got to go through all the troubleshooting steps. And it just takes a lot of time, right? It's just, it's not hard, but it just takes a, a while. So I want my time to be as effective as possible because I only go out there on the weekends now. So what I do is, is I do the really like difficult work here. And this way I can, you know, I just, I just, I'll just make sure that the Octominers are all functional, that all the slots mine correctly, right? I'll, I'll populate all the cards and then I'll, 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 I'll make sure that the Octominer is working a hundred percent for at least two days, right? Um, for 48 hours that it mines correctly with no problems. And then, and then I'll power it down and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get a pile of them. And then I'll, the next time I go out, I'll load them in my truck and I'll take them out. So that's kind of what I do here at home as far as for the GPU farm. Um, I really don't do any of the ASIC stuff here at home, but, I, uh, for the, for, for rental cases, um, that need a little servicing. I have like a, a rotating stock if they if they need work, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm trying to get caught up on that. So uh, I think I'll have probably about five or six spares on the site right now that are like, you know, good to go Octominers. And this way I have some stock in case maybe somebody's having a problem and maybe it's somebody's case that they own, you know what I mean? I can bring it here and I can work on it, troubleshoot it, figure out what's going on with it. And then give them, you know, a rental, you know, a loaner to keep them up in mining. And this way, they don't have as much downtime, right? And this way, I could take this home. I could look it over, try to figure out, troubleshoot it. You know, maybe there's a short on the extent on the expansion board. These Octa miners, they are very finicky. Um, they are starting to get like kind of old now. Some of them, depending upon when they're manufactured, could be four years old or older. Um, depending upon which model you have, um, so they're, you gotta realize this thing, guy. This, these, these, these are computers, and these have essentially just people have been running these like twenty four seven for like three to four years now. They are definitely starting to show their age, and they they need a little bit of love, right? So it's just it's just part of the process. So, all right, guys, this is Mikey giving you the most ashes, and I'll see you next time.